Hey, how's it going, everyone? Welcome back to another GTA Online video. My name is Saints Fan, and today the Benefactor Schlagen GT was released. And in this video, I will be going over everything I think is awesome about the car, as well as some of the negatives. Hopefully, by the end of this video, you will know if you want to buy this vehicle. But to me, as you can tell from the title, this is a near perfect car. This is hands down, in my opinion, one of the best cars Rockstar have released in the past couple of years. So much is right with this car. And honestly, I think because of that, we should reward Rockstar and let them know this is what we want to see more of. Now, first off the price of the Schlagen GT. It's actually relatively inexpensive compared to everything else. It's only $1.3 million on the Legendary Motorsports website. For a sports car, I mean, it's pretty standard for a top range sports car. The Pariah is actually, I think, like $1.7 million. So it is a little cheaper than it. The next thing is always the customization. This thing has some good customization it's it's not a crazy amount like certain other vehicles but it's got a good amount it's got some pretty decent liveries they're not anything great but you can obviously use them and make some pretty unique cars it does have a primary a secondary and a trim color which is kind of cool and it actually does have an option to remove the back spoiler which i like the most if you want to do that but yeah, overall, customization is kind of cool. There's enough to make your car look nice, but there isn't enough to make it look super, super unique. But honestly, for me, that was okay. And the reason that was okay is because of the looks of this vehicle. Obviously, it is closely resembling the Mercedes in real life. And I mean, it's, it's almost a recreation. You can actually see in this picture from Hot Racer GTA, the top is the real life picture and the bottom is GTA. And I mean, when I first saw this, I was kind of confused. I was like, wait, why is there two of the same car? But that's how close they look. And that's just how good this car looks. Like the model of this vehicle is hands down one of the best, in my opinion, in GTA. Also, some extra stuff regarding the looks. The interior is pretty decent. I mean, it's well textured and everything. It's not going to be the greatest for driving in first person. You are kind of at a limited field of view because of the sun strip. If you decide to put that on. Also, the engine looks awesome. They did a really clean job with the engine, so it's not going to look super low res or anything. Overall, this may be one of the best looking sports cars. This definitely is up there with, in my opinion, the Pifster Neon. I think that was one of my other favorite looking sports cars, but this one may take the cake. All right, now before we get into performance, some negatives regarding some weird things with this car. The suspension, the stock suspension is actually pretty high compared to normal or most of the other normal sports cars. So you are going to have to bump it down. But I did hear some reports and see some reports that if you bump it all the way, you may every now and then see some clipping with the tires. So if that's an issue, then unfortunately you just have to deal with the higher suspension. Also, I did notice an issue and it's, it's hard to really explain or show in a video, but whenever I, I guess, hit a bump, if it was a pretty big bump, the car would take like two seconds to restart. I know that's happened on a couple other vehicles, but it was something I noticed like two or three times when I was driving it around. But really, those were the only two negatives that I could find with this car. Now, that performance. And this, along with the next part, is, I think, why this is kind of like a must-buy. So first, testing it against the Pariah. This, the Pariah, is probably the best car in the game. This thing is a sports car, yet it beats supercars. It's completely broken. 
and Rockstar has yet to fix it. This has been the game for like two years now. So, of course, the Schlagen GT against the Praia is, is not really a match. They kind of both have the same start, but the Pariah just glitches out and goes insanely fast uh, and gets to that top speed, which is way higher than the Schlagen GT. So, you know, in these simple airport testings, while initially it looks like it's close about halfway through the, the race or the little drag race here, the Pariah takes off. So... It's so dumb how we get this awesome car that is competitive and is really good, but it doesn't matter because the damn Pariah is so much better than everything else. Now, comparing it to the Masakro, which is one of the fastest sports cars, it actually beats it. So this is where you can see, like, it's well-balanced in the sports class if the Pariah wasn't there. So I don't know what's going to happen. Like, I, maybe if... We get enough people complaining Rockstar will patch the Pariah or just to to make it a little bit more reasonable. But I mean, for racing, I still think you're going to be using that Pariah and not this vehicle, which sucks because it does look and it feels so awesome. Now, it isn't four wheel drive. It is only rear wheel drive. So that's why the start isn't as great as some other uh, cars, but it actually does have a pretty high top speed. To me, I believe it's one of the faster sport car top speeds but again it's just unfortunate that nothing will compare against that pariah now for handling handling is actually really awesome on this car it doesn't slide as much as you know some of the other cars but you can definitely still drift a little bit when you're turning you know going at a decent speed hands down the best part about this vehicle though is the fact that it has none of those stupid handling flags and i've been mentioning this on the last couple videos so you know if you've been following along then you know what i'm talking about but if not rockstar has implemented these handling flags these lines of code in the game for pretty much the last year's worth of vehicles and what they do is when you hit even the tiniest of bumps your car starts jumping and it freaks out and you lose traction, you lose control. Most recent example was the Itali GTO. It was the most extreme. You just drive that on a straight road that has a tiny bump in it. You're going to be losing control even though you're just going straight. And actually because of that, when you're doing races and you're, you're going through races, those handling flags actually decrease the speed of the vehicle. So that's why a lot of the newer sports cars and newer supercars that have those handling flags, they're not good. But this vehicle, the Schlagen GT, for whatever reason, is like the only one that doesn't have those flags. So that is actually why I think you should buy this car. We all should buy this car because of that to show Rockstar, look, we don't want those other stupid freaking cars with the other stupid flags. We want a normal car that looks great, that does perform well in its class, if you don't include the super OP car that shouldn't be in its class, uh, without the handling flags. That's what we want for a, you know, a pretty reasonable price, $1.3 million. That is my opinion on this car, and that is why I think it is almost a near-perfect sports car. It's got the looks. It's got the performance. It's got the handling. It doesn't have the flags. And there's actually a ton of different looks that you can put on this car in terms of paint jobs, which I'll probably make a separate video on tomorrow. So that is my review on the Schlagen GT. I mean, look, if you guys want to disagree, let me know why in the comment section below. But I just think this is a fantastic car, and it's definitely one of the best that they've released in the past like two years. So thank you all for watching this review. Please drop it a like if you did enjoy. Subscribe for more GTA Line content. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one.